Hello everyone, welcome to External Star Channel. My name is Marek, as you already know, and today I will be unboxing, reviewing, and then also rating this beautiful American model of Ford 150. And it's a beautiful model from Sunstar. And actually, yeah, I, I love it very much in this transparent box. Before I proceed with unboxing, I want to thank HMKT for sponsoring this video by providing this specific model. They are a retailer in Netherlands and since 2005 they are selling models and they are actually sending worldwide so check out their website. There is also a link down below the video for your reference. So thanks again HMKT and now let's go and start finally this unboxing yeah so as i already mentioned it's it came in a transparent box and i love it because you immediately see what is inside and actually this one is not from the premium uh collection or the premium line of uh, what sunstar is producing uh, so let's see if this will be somehow also with a high quality i love it so much yeah so let's see all right so I'm pulling it out and here on this box, what does it say? Yeah, it's exact scale ornamental model for adult collectors. So again, uh, you need to be at least 14 years old. Uh, otherwise, you could damage this model. Yeah, so <laughs> I know that if, uh, if you are intending to buy this for your child who is only 10, then forget about it and buy something else. This is for really adult collectors and adult in this case is uh, 14 and more all right so now let's let's directly uh, unbox also the second layer and I can do that by uh, pulling out this plastic part oh very nice and we have four screws okay since the screws are gone also here this fourth custom cap from 1965 and I will tell you a little bit more just in a second. Yeah, so we have also this base with a nice Sunstar. Uh, look at that. So we have this Sunstar plate here, 1965 Ford F. Oh, it's actually 100. So it's not 150, it's 100 custom cap pickup. Yeah, so very nice miniature. And I was first confused that this is 150, but yeah, since nowadays we only see 150. Before I really start the review, uh, let me also cut here uh, those stripes. Yes, yeah, so these are not necessary. It's just for the transport. So when you receive a new model, of course, you don't want any doors or anything to be open during the transport. So it doesn't fall off. It doesn't break. But now we don't need this tape anymore. Yes, yeah, so now it's here. A very nice model and actually yes as I said this F series this is the fourth generation actually and even after a facelift yes yeah? so actually the fourth generation was produced between 1961 and 1966 and this one is uh, actually 1965 yeah so last but one year uh, of this fourth generation and actually how do you know that this is the latest from 1965 yeah so it actually introduced all new frame which would be used on the f series through 1979 also the body itself remained largely unchanged but on the 1965 and 1966 models the turn signals actually here the turn signals are above the headlights yeah so uh, it was a little bit different before they were located uh, in between. So that's how you know it's 1965 after the facelift. Replacing the rudimentary straight axle in the front, uh, which was now all new independent twin I-beam suspension. So let's also see here. Yeah, we don't see much. Uh, it's quite flat and not really detailed. The undercarriage, yeah, so unfortunately here let's but let's see also what is under the hood later um so this 
twin I-beam suspension with coil springs on two wheel drive trucks and this change of suspension also lengthened the wheelbase slightly. Uh, okay, so we don't have any other previous car from 1960s to compare the wheelbase, but what is important that uh, this F-series truck was distinguished with this twin I-beam emblem on the front fender. And we see it here actually, yeah? so it's here and this is great because this is how you again uh, distinguish between uh, the pre-facelift and after-facelift version. So there was also a four-door crew cab available introduced on F250 and F350 but on this F100 we only have this uh, two-door uh, custom cab. What is also quite interesting is that we have here the fuel cap uh, on this side and si driver side and quite unusual place but this is what it is yeah it's it looks quite funny but it's here all right so let's start in the front as i said uh the uh, indicators are above the headlights we have this nice ford oh is does it actually say ford yes it does yeah so it's uh, barely visible, but it says Ford. Maybe this could be a little bit more detailed here. But I love then here this logo or emblem. This is nice. And it was huge back then. And then we have also nice license plate from Virginia 65, 1965. And this is also quite good. The headlights, they look okay. They have this texture. And then... Uh, Unfortunately, this is perforated. The front grille is perforated, but uh, behind there is nothing else visible. Yeah? So I would expect the radiator or something. So let's finally open the hood and so that, oh, it's really simplified here. Look at that. Yeah. So this is huge. And I don't think this is uh, really based on how the real model looked like, how the one-to-one -one was made. So here we have the huge hinges, huge, extremely huge, I would say. And then we have the engine, the battery, and uh, yeah, it's nice cooling here. But uh, look at that, it's really, really simplified. Yeah? So uh, here, again, I need to say that uh, if you have some other Sunstar models, it really they they distinguish between this premium line, uh, which is the Sunstar Premium or Platinum. They call it Platinum, but this is a non-Platinum model. Also fine. So from the outside, really nice color actually. Very this this color is beautiful. Uh, it's two tones and wow, it's this beige and then orange. Yeah, very glossy and this is made perfectly but uh, the engine is little bit i would say could have some improvements yeah so of course uh at this price point and again i need to say it was uh 100 euro yeah 110 that's the retail price of this model so don't expect miracles yeah so it's still a full die cast oh yeah it's die cast dear guys and i love it because it's die cast and then of course you can turn the wheels it's connected to the steering wheel you can see it here and custom cap also on the door let's open the doors yeah so and also check a little bit the interior and i will open also the second side what is quite interesting we don't have uh the side windows here only this triangle here yeah, but the rest this main uh, side window is missing okay it's also not a big deal uh, the only thing is that sometimes uh, there is a lot of dust going inside if you have it on display without the side mirror yeah it's it becomes a bit dusty uh, after some years okay so now let's also focus here on the interior really and it's quite okay i i have no complaints here orange seats orange steering wheel it's connected and there is the dashboard also fine but again again uh, i must say here the hinges the door hinge it's so big huge massive it of course it's good because it's durable on the other side yeah it's it looks maybe inappropriate to have this uh, big huge massive hinge all right 
Then we also see that here the doors, they have multiple parts, this plastic part and this uh, metallic part. There is also a space in between. Yeah? So maybe this could be also manufactured a little bit better. Yeah? So I'm, I'm really now finding all the details yeah so uh, where it could be done a bit better but what is also great yeah so of course all the wheels they spin uh that's okay what about the suspension that's also sometimes i review if oh something is there what about in the front no definitely not in the front let me check again there is a suspension in the rear in the front it's missing yeah? so at least here if you have a heavy cargo then probably the flatbed will sit a little bit uh, lower due to this working suspension very nice but what i'm now interested in is really the flatbed here and if we can open this a nice fort uh, look at this this uh sign here this is very beautiful and very precise and the license plate as well we have this bumper which is nice and polished very shiny and nice uh rear lights or tail lights all right let's now open this okay i can do that and it's nice and flat i can load anything i want there yes yeah, so really really great and we have also this this glass here also nice transparent and quite thick yeah so it's not just a very thin foil like on some models here again it's quite thick durable we have also nice nice vipers here yeah so i must say this model here uh really really awesome like the exterior is so nice especially the color i love the color maybe that's that's one of the reasons why i love this model, model so much already uh, of course if you have a look here under the hood you would be a bit disappointed uh, the engine is really not detailed uh, but as i said at this price point don't expect miracles yeah so uh, i will also now actually what i will do i will also take some figures 1 to 18 figures and also some cargo i will make some beautiful pictures i will post them on my instagram so please make sure to now subscribe to my youtube channel um that's number one thing and then also to my instagram account uh where i am posting some some nice pictures of the models that i'm reviewing yeah? so both links down below again under the video so in the end uh i think i already fell in love with this model and it's it's so great and uh most of all i will really uh, make some use for making those pictures yeah because i think with some figures and nice diorama it will make sense to to take some beautiful pictures all right so thank you guys for watching thank you again hmkt for sponsoring this product uh, so that we can all enjoy it uh, on this channel and again uh, i will see you next time soon now only time for the final rating so for wait for it bye